Hi friends, watch this window. Here we can select a calendar. So from a, a date from this calendar, we have already done that. But along with that, we can also set the hour, minute and second to any value within this. So this is how we can set a complete date object. We can create it and take this input to any other application or wherever we want. We'll learn all about this. Let's understand the layout of our window. So here is we are imported our date and time here at the top. So you can see that we will be using it and this is the calendar date entry. Then my underscore W is our uh, root window. Many tutorial you will find it as uh, root or do we use it my underscore W. So this is the geometry of it. So those who are advanced user can just keep this basic layout part. But this understanding the layout is also important. I'm just placing it the calendar. This is our key. I just pasted it now. You can see this calendar for I'm using the date entry and then uh, this will display me the calendar at row one and column zero. What is row zero then that is the label at the top. You can see that this label at the top it, it should be. So this is the what is the, with the background yellow. This is what will display the final our uh, calendar with time. Now here you can see I have a text variable. I must declare it tk dot string variable. It's a string var. Why I am using a string var here? We'll shortly see that. Whereas then below this I have this label final label slightly higher font I have we have used here. It's a times twenty eight because let the font size be bigger and the background is yellow. Then we have placed it on the grid. Then row zero, it's at the topmost so row zero, column zero. Slightly from the left edge, we are given little pad X and column span four. We are given because right to it, the below that there are a lot of uh, our sliders are there. Four, the three sliders are there. Then the calendar will still occupy one space. So that is why we have adjusting the width. Let the span be up to four columns. It let it go. So we are given this. Anyway, the entire source code, you can download it. The URL is at the description. So below that, just a label here. So it says just saying that it is our and you see that it is at row one and column one. So it is at the just in parallel to the sorry to the right of our calendar, but below the top heading. And then we started after below that below the hour, you can see the column is one and here the column is also one, but row one and row two here, we are just displaying the scale. This is the scale or a slider where you can uh, increase or decrease the hour value. So here the hour value starts from zero and ends at 23. You can just place it uh, if you want a 12 hour uh, calendar also, you can change the two value. So you can change it and note that this orientation we have kept is vertical. Vertical, you can change it to horizontal also and length was this. Length is 150, you can change it to any value. Here was this, this is the command. This function will execute when you change the slider or you move the slider. That function we have not yet written because that is the key that we will learn and that, that, that is why it is written, not written now, we will write that. So this our column is placed at the row 2 and column 1. Similarly, the second column is also placed at row 2 and column is 2. So column 1 to the right of it second and to the right, so, sorry, 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 it is the minute and to the right of it is second. So you can see here column is 3, same one label, then one scale. Everywhere the second, sorry, the second uh, scale is SC and MN is the minute, HR is the hour and above that the label is, labels are there. L underscore MN is the label for minute. Anyway, there is no event associated with this label. This is for the display part only. So we have given it. Now let's come back to the end. And what is important is you must have seen that whenever the uh, sliders are changed, this command my update is there. But similar thing is not there for the calendar. So how we will change the calendar for that? Because we have used one string variable so the trace method will use this this trace method will monitor the uh, our string variable and whenever 
it changes that's why we are writing a w means whenever the data changes in the string variable this will be either otherwise it when it is created or destroyed that we could have triggered no we want that this should be and what it should do my underscore update this function it will execute so i am just coming down here now one more thing this particular say uh, window should open uh, means it should display the time when you without changing anything the current uh, what is the hour value it's hour minute second will be at zero zero and calendar will by default will point to the current date so that should if you want that to be displayed then on opening we will write this so this function will be executed here now let me just save this so if, if you don't want that you can comment this line so that function will not but so far you just note it we have to i think that error will come we'll leave it like that okay now let's just see how the layout looks or any error is coming sorry my update is not defined because we are not updated so it has closed it fine we'll go to now the learning about our function we'll write our function at the top so here let's define my update and let's just see once now rest any error is there up to now because now we have written the function so here it is now our window has come up you can see here i can we can pick up uh, any date here but nothing will happen because we are not written any function i can change the sliders also whatever you have seen uh, so everything is fine one error I'm getting okay so here I will say my update I have to percentage because it, it should receive the arguments okay so now will sorry not here it is here I have to put it here okay fine so after this now let's start writing the code here so what we will do is first thing what is our uh, selected the calendar value what you are getting that you will say it so for that we i am giving the variable dt you can give any name cell dot get so this is the once a user select a select a particular date in the from the calendar this function is going to trigger and i am going to capture this value as a string note that this is not as a date but it we capture it as a string so i can just write it triggered uh, when value of calendar is changed or select anything change means also selected so it is there now once that is there so I, I have the value now now what i will do i will do and check also so first i will then i will say if len why i am doing this is there is this string variable will take twice so one one false value will come so i am just checking ensuring that this has contained some data my dts length is more than five because anytime any date is selected it is bound to be more than five i am just ensuring that okay now i will write the if inside that now what i am saying dt equal to dt then plus because now i am adding the slider values whatever the hour minutes and second that value i am adding so i will say okay i'll just give a colon here because this is the format for finally what i am going to use so what i can do is plus s sorry let's first do the mistake then you will learn hr dot get now i will get the value of the hour slider our hr slider is here at line number 19 here it is so moment this slider changes this my function will take i will get the value but this is a integer so what i have to do i have to put it in inside a string function so tell that convert it to string if it is say eight hour it's eight is a string for me not a not a integer for me fine so we got this value now str hr get so i get this one now i will say plus i will sorry I will put a another comma here because this particular for, format this is a string only I am adding so str now mn dot get what I am getting is minute value one more comma here is required sorry plus comma plus now I am second part I will add so str 
now i am saying sc dot get that's all so i have first this is the to the date what the user has selected i am adding the hour i am adding it's all string additions minutes and then second so my format is ready even if you want you can just print it the value to your console and see what the format it is coming i can't say you print dt you can write that to test yourself what you are getting let's just run up to this point okay now if i will click this yeah i am getting it uh, the console part is not covered so 5 11 22 colon 0 0 0 because our minute second is not set now if i'll select this then the value in the print command also the value is changing yeah it is changing you can check that but let's not give so many print command i will just comment it you can add that one at any point of time now my string is ready it's it's a date string it is not a form for i can also print that but it's a date string so str1 i'm just giving a value now now i'm converting to a date object so date time that is why you can see date time i have imported at the top you can see it here where is date time here it is at the first line it is there so that i am using it i am using the method s sorry str p time strp time and strf time these two are quite useful p time will always convert string to date object and uh, p time and f time is does the reverse whenever you want a date to be displayed in a different in a different format so that time you have to use it now first input is what's my date string is this is dt is in a string format so i am just again putting it i am now i am telling the system look this is the format this format you are using so minutes eh, sorry uh, this is the month percentage d is the date then i am saying percentage y means i am giving the year now the colon was this colon we have used here now the hour part starts so this because the same format i have to maintain so i am right i am writing that one now i am saying percentage h this is the for the hour and after that i am used a comma so i am placing a comma here then percentage hour then minute is uppercase m then similarly percentage uppercase s so i am saying look this is the format what you will get this dt is having say if i'll change here this thing then same thing i have to do here also so my my that uh, date object this is is ready now after this now i have to print that one only str1 i am just using the same variable you can use a different one str1 dot in fact this line is not required also but why we are giving is because you want to change the format you can use this line strf time now here what i am saying is convert it to in this format now now i only have to give the format say i am saying that percentage first let the give the date then month like in the string apr march uh, may may like that it is if i want full length name then i have to use uppercase b so here i am using lowercase b so this there is a complete format list is there you can see that list now then i am saying y fine now after that i am giving the colon this is the format if if i don't want colon i can give anything else also now i am saying h now um, after h let me give percentage m now after this fine final sorry my final is s so this is what this is the if you want in some other format change this sorry i will say it. display this is for the display only now but fine where you will place it because for that purpose here you see l1 is our label where you will be displaying this we are given a higher front with a yellow background now i am saying it l1 config so i am config uh, option i am using any attribute i can change it by using config i am selling text you change it and add str1 that's all now my uh, window is ready so let's just run it once any error or anything we'll see nothing is there it has come up okay 
why why it is by default is not showing because we have commented that function at the below we'll see that now i am selecting a date see it has come up it has shown me the thing what happens i will change the hour column this hour is changing and minute i am changing and the second is changing now let's close it and triggered this one we will go to the end here it is we we have commented this line now i am saving it running it again what happens because on load also it will show it is showing me first may and hour minute second i can change it and add hour minutes and second i can change the date also say i am going to 13th fine whatever this suppose you want this format to be changed uh, this is we have written may and let, let's close this here you can come at the top here this one mm, months lower case m so it will give show me the number now let me just yeah you can see one five if i'll change the month say april i have gone uh, april 13th so 13 4 if I, I want month to be come to the left i can change this line it was this line number 12 whatever the format i have given here that it is taking and our minute second already we have seen this is all that's all friend this was a question asked actually so how to this uh, calendar pickup of only date part we have already discussed this uh, based on this question we have added now the hour minutes and second and if you have any other idea suggestion and uh, some doubts anything use the comment section below and post it accordingly we will also change the script and accordingly we will add new new sections also and my request is please share this video with your friends and please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we uh, upload new new videos we frequently do that also and request your friends also to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching